Kal Halal Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem Raka Kadash the honors to the apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the Akiyama in the four corners who put in his work in full faith and in truth and sincerity. Salutations to the confusing the faces of Akiyama in the four corners after any Akwath trying to receive the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and in ominous meekness and silence where the most high shines light upon you. I had a few scriptures I want to go into. This is a um, first. I want to say, you know, a kafala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, a the water, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for the apostles and elders, great millstone because man, they've done all the, you know, the the grunt, the 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 the, 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 the grunt work, man, in the trenches, man, you know, and they've laid it out for us, man, you know what I'm saying. All we got to do is do the research because they've already researched it. So we just got to research what they've already researched, man. And it's a beautiful thing. So the water, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shah, Kala, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shah, the water, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shah, for the apostles. And it was uh, a great millstone, man. Because um, this is um, an old lesson from, you know, Milk Milk 101. I think I'm going to make this part of the Milk 101 series. You know, most majority of it just milk anyway. You know, um, the milk series on on uh, Noah, the ark, and the two and the two pair, the two animals, the two pair of animals in the, in the ark, man. You know what I'm saying? I hadn't seen any brother do do it in a in a while. I may have missed it. So the spirit's got. I'm gonna just go into that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm saying, you know, it's amazing that, you know, that the Most High can use, like, simple, easy, simple, 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 simple things that would be a, a stumbling block, you know what I'm saying? Man, because he, you know, he have a veil on, 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 you know, on, on the world and the mass of the people, on two-thirds of the people. You know what I'm saying? And only the elect gonna be able to, you know, to to you know, he he appeal the when it's his will. You know when he, when when you are called, you know many are called, but few are chosen. When you call, he take that veil off your eyes, and you, you know, and, and you hear the name of Yahweh, Bashem Avasha, Bashem and 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 you know, you, you understand, you get the wisdom. Uh, knowledge and, and, and understanding of, of the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, and and seeing how the, the most smallest thing can confound the world, you know what I'm saying, and it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. If you got that veil uh, over over your eyes, man, I'm just gonna go to a few scriptures over that, over, over that, and then go into the Noah's Ark and wrap it up. Man, like I said, this is a a lesson that the Apostle Ramlah did years. Years ago, man, I, it's, um, it's uh, I'm gonna do this, put this under the milk uh, series. Like I said, most of most of the videos on here is milk, anyways. So, I'm gonna start off with um, Isaiah 16 2. It reads, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people. And gross darkness has covered the earth. And gross darkness has covered the people. The people that you know has a has a veil over their eyes. It's real. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans make like you have you're in a complete stupid cut off from any light. You know what I'm saying? You're totally in the darkness, in the valley, in the shadow of death. Just bouncing off the of walls like a ping pong. Like a ping pong game, just bong bong back and forth, okay? But Yahweh shall rise upon thee. Who is this talking about? This is talking about the elect, okay? And his glory shall be seen upon thee. How how is the glory of Yahweh gonna be seen upon the elect? We'll start with the apostles and the elders on down. They see us on, on four corners of the globe. 
doing this work, pushing the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah diligently on a consistent basis without fear. Okay? So that's how the Lord is, is rising upon thee and his glory is seen uh, upon thee while the rest of you remain uh, in darkness, in, in a dark veil. Okay? Ephesians 4 and 18 having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Okay? Have the understanding dark, darkened. Alright? That's that veil. Alright? Being alienated from the life of the Most High. Okay? I want to look at that word. Being alienated Strauss G five twenty six Apalatri Ao Apalatri Ao Apalatri Ao Strong's G five two six It means to alien to to be alienated to be alien to alienate, to estrange, to be shut out from one's fellowship and intimacy. Okay, to be shut out, to be non-participant, to be alien. Okay, to be not not part of. Okay. To get the proper understanding. Two thirds, having the understanding darkened, being alienated, not being a part of the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of the heart, the, 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 the hardness, the blindness of your heart, the, 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 really the hardness of your heart, of your, of, of, of your life, of your, of your mind, okay? And who's, who does the heart harden and who does this? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? I had Isaiah 25 and 7, Salakim, he would destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And how is he doing that? He's doing that right now by the apostles and the elders on down and the Akiyan you see on the four corners of the of the globe doing this truth and faith and in truth and in sincerity pushing the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Okay? It's happening right before your eyes right now, okay? Second Corinthians three and sixteen. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. When, what, nevertheless, when it, what is that it? That it is Israel, okay? It is more specifically uh, the elect, okay? All right? When you turn to the Lord, who's going to turn to the Lord? The elect. The veil should be taken away, the dark veil, okay? That exists uh, upon your eyes before you come into the truth, okay? They make the simplest things stumbling blocks to you, okay? Romans 11 and 7, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. What does Israel obtained seek it for? The truth, okay? So Jake, I was, you know, what's my purpose in life? What do I, what do I you know? What's my, what's my purpose? I feel special, you know? That's what he's seeking for. That's why you get into all these different philosophies being tossed to and fro with everywhere in the doctrine, okay? Because you're, you're blinded. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. That's that dark veil. It's all about the elect, okay? Base, okay, I'm, I'm going to keep reading it, okay? Romans 11 and 8, according to as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, 
eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day, until this very day. And David said, let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Okay, the table is where you take in your, your nourishment, man. It's where you eat, okay? That's what you, you, you know what I'm saying? That's what you take in, man, okay? That's your, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be, you know, the doctrine uh, that you live by. So, you know, you, you in, you're in darkness, okay? So, the, the simplest things could be made a stumbling, or be, or made a snare and a stumbling block into you in a recompense. You know, and really, it's just really saying to, to hell with you, man. Okay, let whatever you believe in be a snare to you, and then a stumbling block and a recompense. Christianity, okay, it's a major, major, major stumbling block and a snare and a recompense to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, you know, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay. All right, how do you identify the elect? Say in the election, pray, praise his holy name. We're calling out the name of Yahweh Hashem Malasha, and we push into the full doctrine, man. Okay. I wanted to um, salat you, salat. All right, I'm gonna go into the um. Scriptures on Noah, and I'm gonna wrap it up, man. This is like milk 101, but this has come from either the Most High, let you know, giving you the, the, the understanding of the scriptures because it's simple, or He got you blinded, man. You know what I'm saying? This is only for the elect. The elect will understand it, man, from milk to meat, okay? Genesis 6. All right, Genesis 6 and uh, 17, it reads, And behold, I, even I, Yahweh, okay, Bashem Yahweh Shabbat, Bashem Kadash, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy our flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and the sons' wives with thee. Okay? And that's what the eight souls that made it through uh, the, uh, the flood. Got a precept. It's a lot. 1 Peter 3 and 20, which sometimes were disobedient when once the long suffering of the Most High waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Okay, so that's the precept to that, man. Okay, so the eight souls. Genesis 6, 6 and 19. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark and keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. All right. I'm just going to read it again. Genesis 6 and 19. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark. To keep them alive with thee, they shall be male and female. The male and female, one, two, two of every sort. The male and female of every sort of animal that shall thou bring into the ark. Okay, the male and the female is the two of every sort. Okay, a uh, fowls after their kind, and cattle after their kind. Of every creeping thing of the earth after his after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And thou shalt take thee, Salaki, and thou shalt take unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, 
and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according all that the most I commanded him, so did he, okay? Two of every sort of animal, okay? One, two, male and female, all right? So, Genesis 7 and 1, And Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous, righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast shall thou take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Okay. I'll read it again. Genesis 7 and 2. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens. Okay. The male and his female. Okay. So we take in sevens. We're going to take the, so the animals, according to Genesis 6 and 19, two of every sort, a male and, every, and a female, okay? They come in the, the twos, all right? So thou shalt take to thee by sevens. So seven of the twos, seven of the male, seven of the female, okay? Seven plus seven, that's 14. Okay, so of every clean beast, thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and the females, by twos, that's 14, and of the beasts that are not clean, by two, the male and his female. All right, two, two of the unclean beasts, so 14 of the clean, two of the unclean. All right, the male and female. Genesis 73, a fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according to all that Yahweh commanded him. All right, and Noah was 600 years old when the flood of the waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in, his sons and his wife, and his son's wife with him, the eight souls, into the ark because of the waters of the flood, of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls and of everything that creeps creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two, and to Noah and, and to Noah into the ark. The male and the female, okay? Male and female, the clean. Male and female, the unclean. Two and two, okay? And to know unto the ark, the male and the female, as the Most High had commanded Noah, okay? I mean, that's that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it, the precept that also they came out with it was Genesis 9 and 1. And the Most High blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon the fishes of the sea, and to your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. Okay, so every moving thing that liveth should be meat for you so it goes back to the um the this description it had um 14 of the of the clean and only two of the of the uh of the unclean salaki Case in point, Salakia. Case in point that some of them was going to be was going to be eaten. The scripture said it's given to them for meat. You, you see what I'm saying? So there had to be some of the clean animals around for food, and others to you know to live on 
and replenish the um the earth when when the flood uh subsided man okay every moving every living thing every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you okay genesis 9 and 3 so like it man so i'm going to wrap it up with this revelations 1 and 3 blesses he that readeth and they that hear the words of his prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand this is my point it's in it's in this okay blessed is he that readeth all right that word readeth strong's g314 on a gnosko on a gnosko strong's g314 on a gnosko which means to distinguish between, to recognize, to know accurately, to acknowledge, to read, okay? To know again, to read, okay? To act, to know accurately, to understand what you are reading, okay? And that understanding is only going to come from Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. So the scripture uh, is definitely true, man. Blessed is he that readeth with uh, understanding, man, okay? Because it's only going to come from Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shah. All right, with that one, say Kala La, Yahweh, By Shem, Yahweh Shah, By Shem, Rakar Kadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Akiyam on the four corners, putting in this work in faith and truth, sincerity. <laughs> so, like you say, it takes us to the confusing faces of Akiyam on the four corners on the earth. And if they ain't Akwat on the four corners, ain't Akwat trying to see the word. Of Yah Bashim Al Shah through the spirit of Yah Bashim Al Shah and ominous meekness, meekness and silence, may the most high shine a slight upon you. Abba Baba Shalom.